Hi, so in this video we will discuss one of the scrambling technique that is HTP3. So as we discussed in the previous video, we know that scrambling is used to solve the problem of long sequence of zeros and there are two methods in scrambling. One is B8ZS which we have discussed in the previous video and second one is HTP3. So in this video we will study HTP3. So HTP3 stands for High Density Bipolar of Order 3 and it is used to replace 4 consecutive zeros. And since HTP3 is used to replace 4 consecutive zeros, first we need to check if there are no 4 consecutive zeros or if there are 4 consecutive zeros. If there are no 4 consecutive zeros, then the encoding will be same as AMI. That is if the bit is 0, it will be at 0 voltage. And if the bit is 1, it will be alternating positive and negative voltages. But if there are 4 consecutive zeros, we need to check the number of non-zero voltages. That is the number of positive and negative voltages. So if the number of non-zero voltages is odd and if the previous voltage is positive, then the substitution will be 0, 0, 0 and positive. But if the number of non-zero voltages is odd and if previous voltage is negative, then this substitution will be 0, 0, 0 and negative. And if the number of non-zero voltages is even and if the previous voltage is positive, then the substitution will be negative, 0, 0, negative. And if the number of non-zero voltages is even and if previous voltage is negative, then the substitution will be positive, 0, 0, positive. Also, if there are more than one substitutions, then we need to count the number of non-zero voltages after the last substitution. So, let us consider an example. Say, so, suppose we are given the data as 1, 1, then there are 4 zeros, then 1 and 9 consecutive zeros. So, we need to convert it into a digital signal using HTB3 technique. So, the first bit is 1. So at this point, there are no four consecutive zeros. So we will use the case one. That is, if there are no four consecutive zeros, then it will be same as AMI. So bit one will be alternating positive and negative voltages. But since this is the first bit, we will assume positive logic and consider it to be positive. So this one will be encoded as positive. Now the next bit is one again. And so at this point there are no 4 consecutive zeros. We will use the case 1 that is it will be same as AMI and for 1 it is alternating positive and negative voltages. So if the previous one was positive then this next one will be coded as negative. So this one will be coded as negative. Next bit is 0 and at this point we can see that, that there are 4 consecutive zeros. So we will have to use the second case and first we will have to check the number of non-zero voltages. And we need to check the number of non-zero voltages from last substitution of 4 consecutive zeros. But since this is the first substitution of 4 consecutive zeros, we will just check the number of non-zero voltages. So we will have to check the number of non-zero voltages before this bit. So the number of non-zero voltages is 1 and 2. So the number of non-zero voltages will be even. So number of non-zero voltages will be even. And then we also need to check the previous voltage. So over here the previous voltage that is the voltage before the zero bit is negative. So the previous voltage is negative and the number of non-zero voltages is even. So the substitution will be positive 0, 0 positive. So after substituting this, we will get the signal in this form. That is first we have positive. So this 0 will be at the positive level. The next is 0. So this 0 will be at this 0 voltage level. The next is 0 again. So this 0 will be again at the 0 level. And next is positive. So this 0 will be at the positive side. So this is how we have substituted for the first four consecutive zeros. Now the next bit is one. Now at this point there are no four consecutive zeros. So we will use the case one that is it will be same as AMI. 
so according to ami bit 1 will be alternating positive and negative voltages now the previous voltage level was positive so this one will be encoded as negative so this one will be encoded as negative next bit is zero and at this point we can see that that there are nine consecutive zeros but htb3 is used to substitute only four consecutive zeros so over here we will consider only the first four consecutive zeros so we will use this case since there are four consecutive zeros and first we will check the number of non-zero voltages. So we need to check the number of non-zero voltages after the last or the previous substitution. So in this signal we need to check the number of non-zero voltages after the previous substitution. So this was the previous substitution which is the first substitution. So we need to check the number of non-zero voltages after this substitution. The number of non-zero voltages after this substitution is 1. So it will be odd. That is number of non-zero voltages will be odd. And then we also need to check the previous voltage. So the previous voltage that is the voltage before this bit is negative. So it will be odd and negative. So if the number of non-zero voltages is odd and if the previous voltage is negative, the substitution will be 0, 0, 0 and negative. So after substituting, we will get the signal in this form. That is first was 0. So this bit will be at the 0 level. The next is 0 again. So this bit will be again at the 0 level. Next is again a 0. So again this third bit will be at the 0 level. And the last is negative. So this 0 will be at the negative level. So this is how this 4 consecutive zeros will be encoded. Next bit is 0 and at this point we can see that, that there are 5 consecutive zeros. But HTB3 substitutes for 4 consecutive zeros. As a result we will consider this first 4 zeros. So we will consider the second case. That is if there are 4 consecutive zeros, first we need to check the number of non-zero voltages. But we need to count the number of non-zero voltages after the last or the previous substitution. So over here in this signal, this is the previous substitution. That is the second substitution will be the previous substitution. So we need to count the number of non-zero voltages after this second substitution. But we can see that, that there are no non-zero voltages after this second substitution. So that means the number of non-zero voltages will be zero. And since it is zero, the number of non-zero voltages will be taken as even. So after the number of non-zero voltages is even, we need to check the previous voltage that is whether it is positive or whether it is negative. So the previous voltage before this zero bit is negative so it will be even and negative so in this table it will be even and the previous voltage will be negative so the substitution will be positive 0 0 and positive so the signal will be in this form after substitution that is for even and negative first we have positive so this 0 will be at the positive level then we have a 0 so this 0 will be at the 0 level. Then we have 0 again. So this 0 will be at the 0 level. And then we have positive. So this 0 will be at this positive level. So this is how this 4 consecutive zeros will be encoded. Now next bit is 0. And at this point we can see that, that there are no 4 consecutive zeros. So we will use the case 1 that is if there are no 4 consecutive zeros it will be same as AMI and according to AMI if the bit is 0 it will be at the 0 level. So this bit 0 will be at the 0 level. So this bit will be at the 0 level. So this is the digital signal for this digital data using HTB3. Also this even substitution is in the form of B00V. And this odd substitution is in the form of 0, 0, 0, V, where B stands for bipolar and V stands for violation. 
so for e1 the substitution is b 0 0 v now first is b b meaning bipolar now bipolar meaning it will be the opposite of the previous voltage here it was negative so here it is positive so it is according to the mi rule then we have 0 and then 0 again and then v v meaning a violation so according to mi rules it should be op alternating a uh, positive and negative voltages now over here the previous voltage is positive and this voltage is also positive so it is violating the ami rule next for or it is in the form of 0 0 0 v so first is 0 meaning at the 0 level again 0 so 0 level again 0 0 level next is v v meaning a violation that is actually it should be alternating positive and negative voltages according to ami but over here the previous non-zero voltage is negative and this voltage is also negative so it is violating the ami rule and then again for e1 it will be in the form of b00v zero zero b meaning bipolar that is opposite of the previous one zero meaning at the zero voltage and v meaning a violation because the previous voltage and this voltage is at the same level so it is violating the ami rule 